This is one of the areas that was uh, inundated with floodwaters. Um, so what had happened is early that morning, I, I'd come down Yosemite. I just made a right-hand turn on 13th. And what I was doing is coming down to see if any of the streets still needed barricaded or needed any help from traffic operations where I work. And uh, I had occasion to come along here. I saw a large black dog right here on those rocks and he was on his way down to the water. Now that particular day, the water was probably another 10 feet higher and he was on the rocks. So I, I wanted to pull over and stop to make sure he wouldn't jump in and get swept away. When I pulled over, I whistled at the dog. The dog looks over at me and uh, he's just kind of a, had a frightened look on his face and he was shaking. And he, I noticed his leash went down in the water and it was very tight. So it looked like he was caught. So I started to walk over here to go get him and grab a hold of him when I looked down below these grates right here. And right up in front, right there where you see the water going in, right back behind the uh, grocery basket there, there was a man laying face down. And he had that same colored leash around his right hand extended out face down. So I yelled down to him, are you okay? And he rolled over real slow, looked at me and said, uh, help me. And when, as soon as he said that, the dog heard him, the dog jumped in the water, went through the grate, jumped on top of him, and you see how fast the water's going, he swept him away. So I ran down, got down on the, the uh, embankment there where the rocks are, looked back in to see if I could see him, if he was hanging on to anything. But the water at that time was probably about 10 feet deep down in there and is running a lot faster. I knew he was gone, but growing up in this neighborhood, I knew where this particular culvert comes out above ground again. This is about the 1600 block Akron. This is where Mr. Webb and his dog finally come out of the culvert that he went into at 13th and Xenia. That particular day, the water, water level was high enough to where it was about a foot between the top of the culvert and the, the surface of the water. So when he came out, he came out on his back. He came out here with his dog. Uh, at that point, that's when Denver Fire was able to grab him and the dog and bring him up. Grew up around this neighborhood, uh, spent my entire childhood in this neighborhood, and I kind of knew where these tunnels went because we used to run around in these ditches when we were kids. I truly believe that his dog was the one that kept him afloat because his dog was with him at, at all times. A dog's probably 70 pounds or better, and uh, being a rescue dog, he knew exactly what he was supposed to do, and he did his job.